what's up guys welcome back to our kicks of the week and for this week for air max month since march has been dubbed air max month right and just air max day being the 26th of march um we got the air max one and this is actually a huge coincidence like i did not plan this at all i totally forgot we were even in march i was still stuck in february um but this year for air max day it's actually Nike's 30th anniversary for the Air Max 1, being that it came out in 87 with the uh, visible air bubble here that you see. Um, huge coincidence. I totally did not plan this, but I'm glad it worked out this way. Um, but yeah, let's get into the shoes. So these are nothing special. They're just the um, essentials, they call it. So they're available all the time on the Nike site. You can get them anytime. Um, but doesn't mean that you know the color was not dope or nothing right so right here on the toe that goes all the way around the medial side and back to the heel where they have the Nike Air logo there and that's all stitched um, all that's leather um, it's not like soft leather that you would see on some of the newer retro Jordans or like the luxe version of the Air Forces or the um, actually the Air Maxes too right and the Dunks but um, it is, you know, it is what it is. It's leather. It's good quality for sure. Um, on the toe there, you got mesh, and then you see the new buck in red right here. That just goes all the way around the shoe, and then you got the leather um, black swish there. But um, yeah, it's a, uh, it's an Air Max One. If you don't have a pair of Air Maxes, like I said before in my other videos. Um, go ahead and pick yourself up a pair, man. Air Maxes are like an essential to like any shoe collector, not even shoe collector, like just, just to having your wardrobe is, you know, having a pair of Air Maxes is like an essential thing, hence the name Essentials, right? <laughs> um, but yeah, shoes are definitely super comfortable and honestly I only got them, uh, got this specific colorway because of the gum bottoms. Um, I, I'm a sucker for gum soles, man. Like, I don't know. So there's something about the gum soles that just makes you look so good. And I'm not sure what it is. But it totally works with the shoe. Um, with the black, red, and white. And then the gum bottoms. Just perfect. Um, the life, the sock liner, there's nothing special to it. It's just black and, you know, that, that neoprene. But I don't even know what it's called, honestly. But it's just that regular material that you find in shoes all, all the time. But yeah, like... Yeah, the shoes, they're comfortable. Um, I feel like these are a little bit more stable, like when your foot's in it and you're walking or whatever. It's a little bit more stable than the Air Max 90s, um, but I still love the Air Max 90s. I mean, I love these as well. It's, I don't know which one my favorite shoe is. It's just hard for me to pick, but I definitely like them both. Um, but I just feel like these are more stable when I'm wearing them, cause, just because I feel like it's a bigger, like there's a bigger platform here on the sole. I could be wrong, it could just be me, but I just feel like I'm more planted on the ground when I'm wearing these around. But um, yeah, both very great shoes. Uh, I actually like the traction on this more than the 90s, just because these uh, these little lugs here on the tread, on the sole here, just they're not as raised up as the 90s, so you're not as lifted off the ground, which I think contributes to why I feel more stable in Air Max 1s than 90s. But um, Sizing wise, um, I'm pretty sure to run true to size. I think these are nine and a half. Yeah, so nine and a half. Um, if you're a nine and a half, get a nine and a half. If you're a ten, get a ten. But width wise, I think these run pretty like a typical shoe. They don't run narrow at all, like you know, like a lot of Nikes do. I think these are just like you know, regular typical shoe. But if you have wide feet, maybe try going up half a size. I don't guarantee anything. But um, what my experience is with uh, these Air Max 90s, or I mean Air Max 1s, sorry, um, these Air Max 1s is if you wear 9.5, get 9.5, they fit true to size, in my opinion. So we're going to go to a quick on feet, and then we'll come back and wrap up this video. Let's go check it out.
welcome back. So like I said, Air Max 1s are very essential to like anyone's wardrobe. You can wear them with pretty much anything. Shorts, um, being cargo shorts or basketball shorts, they work fine. Um, even pants like joggers and jeans in this case. Like I see a lot of people wear jeans with theirs. Um, I don't, but I think I probably will. I just don't like wearing my shoes in the rain. It just rains a whole lot here. And when I'm wearing pants, um, usually I'm at work. And again, with the whole driving a manual thing, I don't like wearing my shoes when I drive my own car just because they crease the hell out of them. And, you know, you, as you notice, I walk normal in all my shoes. I do not walk like a duck at all. I just want to stress that. But these shoes being that they're mesh up here and leather on the sides, there's actually zero creases that I can see. Check that out. Zero creases that I can see on these shoes. They look like brand new shoes, like I've never worn them. Even the bottom's pretty clean, but you can see that it's kind of dirty. I mean, I've worn these tons of times, but you know, I wear, I walk normal with all my shoes, um, but these just don't crease for some reason, which is great, but I still don't like driving my car um, with certain shoes just because I know for a fact that that's gonna beat the hell out of them, just make them look like trash. Primarily, primarily my left foot, just because that's a clutch foot, right? But um, yeah, there's like virtually no creases on these at all, which is pretty amazing because I wear them to work out and all that as well. But um, yeah, if uh, you don't have a pair, like I said, pick up a pair and uh, get ready for Air Max Day, I guess, and that's on the 26th. Um, well, if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more videos, and uh, I'll see you guys next week. And as always, dream big dreams and believe all things are possible. Thanks for watching.